In this video, we are going to continue with R formula. You will find this on page 461 in the Namibia AS level mathematics textbook Y equals MX plus C to success. Let's look at another example. And now we're going to use the R formula. Say if there's a free theta or a two theta. It's not to say just three. Okay. But in this example, it's three. So express, and again, there's my R, and they give it to you. So express this in the form this. Now just take note, now it's the sin one, where R is bigger than zero, and the acute angle is between zero and 90, and giving the exact value. Okay, so if I'm going to um, uh, exact value of R, and the value of the acute and correct to two decimal places, so it's not exact for the acute angle. Okay. So I start with this, but don't forget I'm back at this sin. So think of the compound angles of sin. What is the formula? Sin theta cos alpha minus r, same sign, not different signs as in cos, or cos theta sin alpha, the acute angle. So equating the coefficients, remember what I am always looking for. I'm looking for sin theta, sin theta, and then I say 7 equals r cos alpha. And then I'm looking for cos theta, cos theta, and 6 is equal to R sin theta. There it is. Then I divide, and I get go, can go directly into tan. So now I'm skipping a little bit of the steps, do you see? Because it's sin over cos, so it's tan. And corrected two decimal places, it's 40.60. Then I square and add the equation. Still, remember, I'm, I left out that cos squared um, alpha plus sin squared alpha because it's 1. So I just go into that. And I, and I take the positive and it's the positive of 85. So keep leave it like that, square root of 85. Don't work it out. Otherwise, it will not be exact. And that's where they say exact value, meaning leave it in terms of the root. Okay. Now I go on. Hinge solve. Okay, now, but now you have, to, you have to focus here. Look at this one. And compare this one. Okay, I just want to do it a little bit lower. Compare this. So instead of the theta, it's 3x. Theta, 3x. So it's exactly the same. But now, so I can, I can use this, but instead of the theta, I must just put 3x. So if you see, I write first this, and then I write that value, which I got there. But instead of the theta, I just put 3x. And now I basically just solve like I did in chapter um, 4 also when I work with 3. But let's, let's first, it's sin, so I divide. And then don't forget, I must multiply. Basically what I did, and I can show you there, I just took the normal, it was actually x. And then, um, yes, I can actually change it to x there. So it was bigger and equal to 0, smaller and equal to 360. And then I just times 3, times 3, times 3. So I think I will, if in a reprint, I will change it to an x there. So zero, it stays 0, and there it's 1080. Okay, so it means it's three revolutions. Okay, where is a sin positive? It's in a quadrant 1 and 2. So the first one is easy. So I, I go with my 3x minus 40, and I got the first one. 3x minus, now it's always good, just get this answer. So I'm like looking for this one, okay? And I'm looking for this one to go on with the revolutions. So for the second revolution, I will just take that, uh, where is it now? Um, no, 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 I'm not looking for that. That one I marked incorrectly, sorry. I see it now. Okay, let's just clean it. That one is correct, the 155. This one is not correct. Take the one where I did not divide and subtract. It's that one I was looking for. This one is correct. So it's the one where everything is still there on that side as the, not the final one. So I take that 24.3 and I add 360. And that 155.6 and I add, that's the second revolution. Okay. And then, so before, and then I, okay, I can actually keep to the two, uh, 24.34 and then add 720 
and this one at 720 or I keep to the in-between one there and just add again 360. Did you see? There I just add again 360. And then the final one, I will just say I add 40, divide 3, add 40, divide 3. In this case, add 40, divide 3, add 40, divide 3, uh, add 40, divide 3, add 40, divide 3. And you are basically ending up with 1, 2, 3, 4, five, six answers. Okay, and that's how you do it. I want you to stop the video and I want you to do trinal 22. Again, you can continue the video as soon as you are finished. Okay, let's start. Let's start with number A. So, express this in the form... Oh, now I'm back at cos again. Can you see the following was sent? That, that did get confused. You can, you can handle it now. So, it's 3 cos theta minus sin theta. And I must get it equal to R cos and theta plus alpha. Okay. Now, remember how I always start? I use my compound and I'm in cos now again. So it's R and it's going to be cos theta. Can you remember? And now it's going to sin cos alpha. Opposite sign minus. I want to get a little bit more space. Minus sin theta. Um, sin alpha. And that is going to be R cos theta cos the angle minus R sin theta sin alpha. Okay, and then don't forget that I'm doing this. Okay, so I equate, but I'm focusing there. So my first one is going to be um, 3 is equal to R cos Alpha. And my other one is going to be R, oh, not R, <laughs> sorry. Remember, we never do the, do the signs. So 1 is just standing a 1. 1 is equal to R sin alpha. That's my equation 2. That's my equation 1. Okay, now I'm going to divide. So I'm going to say equation 2, divide equation 1, always to get tan. So if I divide that, I'm going to say um, R sin alpha over R cos alpha, and that is equal to 1 over 3. This cancel, so tan alpha is equal to 1 over 3. Okay. Now, now I'm going to st um, first get my angle. So let's get that basic angle. Take your calculator. And press on your calculator, um, shift, make sure it's on the grease, tan, bracket 1, divide 3, close the bracket, equals, and it's 18.43. So, 18.43. And now I must get R. And how do, do I get R? I'm just going to say, uh, remember, I square, and I square, doesn't matter which one first. And then it's just going to be 3 squared plus 1 squared is equal to R squared. Because that square plus that square, cos and sin squared, if you add that, it's going to get 1. So this is going to be 9 plus 1, so this is going to be 10. And again, you will see, they say giving the exact value of R. That means if you go, it's going to take R, it's going to be plus minus the square root of 10. But R is bigger than zero. Do you see there? So therefore, R, and you're just going to say, okay, the positive. And if you now put everything in one, so therefore, you can now say, uh, let's just start there, 3 cos theta minus sin theta is equal to the square root of 10 um, cos Theta plus 18.43 at your close. Okay, and that's the answer of A. And now, as soon as you come to the answer of B, you say, oh, instead of theta, 
It's 2x, 2x. Okay, so let's start with B. Just want to see if I will do B again at the bottom. Yes. No. I think I'll keep to the B here. Okay, so let's go to number B. And now I'm going to, first I need to find that expression here. And let's just get that. I'm going to say, okay, there it is. Do you see? There. Okay, so let's just write it. I just want to move up again. So I'm going to say 3 cos 2x minus sin 2x, I start with that, is equal to 2. But now I know that square root, I know that this is equal to this. So square root 10 cos, move a little bit that you see there, cos, and then it's that theta. Okay, can I just, okay, so it's square root 10, cos, but now instead of theta, I'm going to write 2x. Okay, so plus that 18.43, that angle, okay, and that's going to be equal to 2. That's going to be my statement. Okay, now I'm going to start. So now I'm just going to say, okay, so it's cos 2x plus 18.43, and I take it over, so it's 2 over the square root of 10. Now, I'm going to just, okay, first let's start with my domain. Now, if I go back, they said my domain, which is where am I, where am I? Okay, I just want to take you first back. My x is bigger than, equal to 0, smaller than 360. So, okay, let's start there. So, x is bigger than, smaller than, equal to 360. But now I have 2x, so I multiply 2, multiply 2, multiply 2. So I have 2x is bigger or equal to 0, smaller than, equal to 720. It means two revolutions. It's actually easier than that plus or minus a certain angle only. Okay, but now I'm just going to quickly get my graph. i just show you here. I just want to get my ruler. Okay, so it's going to go two times around. Now the nice thing is it's going to just 2x that I have to follow. So it's not something that I'm going to subtract or add there. Okay, so I'm going to... It's actually multiplied 2. Let me just see. It's multiplied 2, multiplied 2, multiplied 2. And I forgot, it's plus. Oh, let's just do it like that. I will also correct it in my example a little bit. I just want to get the green, sorry. Plus 18.43. Plus 18.43. Plus. 18.43, but I don't think it's going to influence my answer. Okay, oh no, it's not beginning to get this is now 18.43, because it's multiplied to plus that, okay, and this one is just going to be 7, 7, 20 plus, let's just start again, 720 plus 18.43. And that's 738. Uh, 738.43. But again, it's not going to have an influence. Okay, so basically, where is cos positive? That's very important. Cos is positive here. And cos is positive here. Okay. Now, I'm going to still find my basic angle. Now, how do I find my basic angle? My basic angle, I work with this. So I press shift cos bracket to divide square root 10 plus the bracket equals. So the basic angle is 50 point two decimal places, 0.77. Okay. 
So because that one is, is so small, it's not going to have an influence. So I'm going to start with my ang angles. I'm going to say the first one is easy. So 2x plus that, keep that, 4, 3. And that is going to be equal to just the angle because it's quadrant 1. So it's just going to be 50.77. That's going to be my first one. Uh, then I'm going to go for my second one. And I just, so this is my first. My second one is going to be 2x plus 18.43. And now in this case, it's going to be 360 minus 50.77. Now I'm going to, I like to write it, draw the year now. And I'll show you now why. 360 minus 50.77 equals. And it's 309.23 degrees. Okay. So this was my first revolution. And then I go to my second. Oh, I just want to make a little bit space. To my second revolution. Okay, so now I can keep I keep this. I, I work with this. This is my second. I work with that. So I'm say, saying it's two x. I keep to that angle, eighteen point four three, and now it's that fifty point seven seven plus three sixty. Okay. That's for my second, third one. And for my fourth one, it's 2x plus 18.43. It's this angle, so it's the 309.23 plus the 360. Okay, and now I can simply, this is my fourth one. And I can simplify this. So I'm, I'm, going to, I'm just going to say x because I'm just going to use my calculator. So 50.77, I first subtract the 18.43 and then I divide by 2. And I get one decimal place, 16.2 degrees. That's going to be my first one. Then I'm going to say, therefore, x. And now I'm going to say 360 minus 50 point, oh, no, no, sorry. I can just work with that 309. 309.23, and I'm going to subtract the 18.43 equals, and I divide by 2 equals, and to one decimal place, it's 145.4 degrees. And this one... It's going to be 50.77 plus that 360 equals. Subtract the 18.43. Divide 2 equals. And that's going to be 196.2 degrees. Okay. And then the last one, I'm going to say 309.23. I add the 360. And then I subtract the 18. 0.43 equals, I divide 2 equals, and that therefore x, don't forget to write x, is 325.4. 325.4 degrees. And if you really want, you can just write all the answers at the end. So therefore, x is equal to 16.2 degrees. Uh, X is equal to one, oh, sorry, one four five point four degrees. X is equal to one nine six point two degrees, and X is equal to three two five point four degrees. And that is my four answers. <laughs>